definitely it is necessary to have some control of paratuberculosis because it causes significant economical losses in the herds of cattle and ruminants and also it has a very severe impact on, on health of these animals. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there are much more important uh, diseases which should be solved in, in cattle and in ruminants right now, but uh, actually co-infection with paratuberculosis makes the situation much worse and therefore it is definitely necessary to deal with paratuberculosis. Diagnostic tools are very important because we need to know what, the current, what is the actual situation in the herd. Unfortunately, there is a huge number or huge. There is a number of methods. However, none of them is, could be used universally. Uh, serological methods like ELISA uh, are cheap and are very and could provide results within few hours actually, but however, uh, the sensitivity and specificity of this method is rather low. On the other hand, direct methods like qPCR or culture, they suffer either from a long incubation period, which is in the case of culture, and on the other hand, in terms of qPCR, the sensitivity of this method is very is extremely high, and therefore it is necessary to set the rules for the interpretation of data, and there is no consensus on this yet future of para-TB control should be based uh, uh, predominantly on some basic agreement on rules which are necessary to, co to be controlled during the, some kind of programs uh, dealing with control of paratuberculosis. This is very important because that later on they can be adopted on different levels like national, federal level and so on. And uh, uh, it is rather unlikely that the paratuberculosis will be, will be eradicated in the future. Therefore, the farmers should learn how to live with this disease and to keep it on very low levels. <music>